Welcome back everyone, I am the Executioner, and today we're going to be talking about something I have talked about before, but in a different framing, so to speak. I've talked about time preference, what it is, and how it relates to everyone's everyday lives in regards to economics, but I haven't talked about it in regards to Hans Hermann Hoppe's work. So, in Democracy, the God That Failed, Hans Hermann Hoppe presents an idea. He is going over the comparison between democracies and monarchies, seeing which one would be preferable in regards to individual rights in a theoretical sense. But what he's talking about mostly throughout the book is how in monarchies, things tended to be smaller grounded versus democracies where they get way out of control and more bureaucratic. So why is that? So in a democracy, a leader is just a temporary caretaker. He doesn't really have any personal connection to the lands he's so-called ruling. He really is only there for a short time, henceforth. He takes as much as he can during that allotted period of time and isn't afraid to spend as much as he can versus a monarchy where it's usually a lifetime and that person usually has in the form of private property a form of his estate or his own private property, but he has an interest in keeping taxation as low as possible as to extend his rule for the long term and avoid revolution. So willing to forego immediate gratification in the form of high taxation, instant wealth, for long term goods in the future. This is not to say that monarchy is at all preferable. This is just a comparison between democracy and monarchies and how a monarchy tends to stay small as compared to a democracy that grows way out of control and becomes the massive leviathan we know as the state. Monarchies are still states, but the monarch has an interest in keeping things as small and efficient as not to piss off the population they rule. Other aspects that keep small are wars, for example, we've observed in the 17th, 18th centuries that wars under monarchies were very small as compared to democracies, which under democracies, we've seen great wars that have enveloped whole continents, that have enveloped the world, and ultimately uh, promote more aggression and non-cooperation as opposed to monarchies, where those were more personal ventures, campaigns, and were meant to be short and to be concise. And the aspects of war before total war are very interesting because during the 17th century the rules of war were very different as opposed to the 19th and 20th centuries where imposing the civil war great war both great wars and other post world war ii conflicts so when we look at monarchies we see a shorter term of war as compared to democracies. I hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe. I'll link down below where you can find Hans Hermann Hoppe's work, Democracy of the God That Failed, and a whole host of other lectures and works. Hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe. And remember that Jello Pop is theft.